Are you having a difficulty of understanding and determining a reference angle of a given angle in degrees? Well, you have come to the right place. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to this session. So today, we are going to discuss and teach you on how to determine or find the reference angle of a given angle in degrees. So what is a reference angle? A reference angle is formed by terminal side and x-axis, and therefore will always be acute. The Cartesian plane is divided into four quadrants by the two coordinate axes. These four quadrants are labeled as 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. We want to consider on how to evaluate the trigonometric ratios in angles in the four quadrants. So when evaluating the trigonometric ratios of non-acute angles, we need to consider the concept of reference angle. The reference angle is always between the terminal rate and the x-axis. Now there are some important notes that you can use to easily find the reference angle. So anytime you have an angle of quadrant 1, the reference angle is equal to the angle in quadrant 1. To find the angle in quadrant 2, it is going to be 180 minus the angle of quadrant 2. If the angle is in quadrant 3, the reference angle is going to be the angle of quadrant 3 minus 180. Now if the angle is in quadrant 4, then it's going to be 360 minus the angle in quadrant 4. Here are some examples to further understand. Example 1. Find the reference angle of 150 degrees. So, 150 degrees is in quadrant 2 here. So, this is 150. And to find the reference angle, you're going to use the formula in quadrant 2, which is 180 degrees minus 150 which is the given angle and that is equal to of course 30 degrees so the reference angle of 150 is 30 degrees so the reference angle is 30 so 30 is between the negative x-axis and the terminal ray. Find the reference angle for 315 degrees. Here to solve problem 2. To find the answer, let us first identify where 315 degrees is found. An angle of 315 degrees is in quadrant 4 and to find our reference angle in quadrant 4, it's 360 minus the angle in quadrant which is 315 degrees. The answer is 45 degrees. Now if you want to understand it visually, a full rotation is 360 and this is 315. So the missing angle right here is the difference between 360 and 315. Therefore, that's 45 degrees. Now, what if you have a negative angle? For example, let's say negative 150. How can you find the reference angle of a given negative 150 degrees angle? If you don't want to do it graphically, the first thing you should do is to find the coterminal angle. Negative 150 plus 360 is equals to 210 degrees. So you know that 210 is in quadrant 3. It's between 180 and 270. So to find reference angle in quadrant 3, it's that angle minus 180. So the reference angle is going to be 30. Now, let's analyze it graphically. So let's draw the angle at negative 150. So this is negative 90. And this would be negative 150. Keeping negative angles, you need to rotate in a clockwise direction. We can clearly see that this angle has to be up to 180 degrees so that we can see we can easily see the answer graphically. 
the angle that measures 30 degrees with graph like this. For graphing the angle's initial side is in the positive x-axis, wherein its terminal side is the blue line. Here, the blue line. Because angles are drawn going anti-clockwise, so it's anti-clockwise. The curved blue line shows the given angle. Even before having drawn the angle, I have known that the angle is in the first quadrant because 30 degrees is between 0 degree and 90 degree. So the reference angle shown by the curved violet line is the same as the given angle. Just keep in mind for the formulas and whether you're working in degrees or in regions. As long as you know the angle measures for positive and negative portions of the x-axis, you can reduce the angle but only if needed. And then do subtraction to get the reference angle. If you're not sure of your work, you can draw the picture to be sure. But if you're still needing to draw pictures when test is coming up, try doing some extra practice because the test is going to assume that you don't need the time to draw the pictures. We hope you have learned something today. And don't forget to ask any questions or any clarifications down below. Thank you once again and have a good day.